25th September Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Arising Above Your Circumstances, Ecclesiastes 3, 1. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. This verse reminds us of the divine timing in our lives and the importance of recognizing and embracing the seasons we are in. Embracing a relationship with God over mere religion is essential for living a fulfilling Christian life. Religion, in many ways, represents a human attempt to reach God through rituals, rules, and structures. While these can offer community and guidance, they often fall short of the transformative power that comes from a personal relationship with God. When you cultivate this intimacy with the Creator, it becomes a wellspring that fuels your public ministry and impacts those around you. The essence of Christianity is not merely following rules, it is about having Christ in you. The Hope of Glory, Colossians 1.27 This profound relationship with God equips you to face challenges and manifests His glory in your life. It transforms you in such a way that others cannot help but see the change. As you grow closer to God, your life becomes a testimony of His power, grace, and love. Consider the story of Esther. Initially named Hadassah, which means myrtle or a tree that creeps on the ground, she represented something humble and lowly. Yet through divine purpose and Mordecai's mentorship, she rose to become Queen Esther, a star shining in the heavens, this transformation signifies that no matter how insignificant your current situation may seem, God can elevate you to heights beyond your imagination. Esther's journey illustrates that sometimes, to embrace your God-given destiny, certain aspects of your life must change or even be left behind. Just as Esther had to leave behind her former identity, you may need to shed old mindsets, fears, and insecurities. You are designed to shine brightly as a star, seated with Christ in heavenly places, Ephesians 2.6. Embrace this identity and let it shape how you see yourself and how you engage with the world. Your self-perception significantly influences how others perceive you. If you see yourself as less than worthy, that belief will reflect in your interactions and decisions. However, remember that your Creator knows your value far better than you do. The dry bones in your life representing your hopes and dreams that seem dead or impossible can indeed come to life again, Ezekiel 37. God specializes in turning situations around that appear hopeless. The urgency of this message is clear. You are called to awaken from complacency. If you remain unaware or inactive, it's akin to sleeping through your life. God has endowed you with time, potential, and a purpose, but you must choose to engage with these gifts actively. 2 Corinthians 6, 2 states, Now is the accepted time, behold. Now is the day of salvation. The moments before you are filled with opportunities to redeem the time and make impactful decisions. We live in challenging times, perilous days, when distractions and despair are rampant. But these evil days also present an opportunity for your light to shine even brighter. In a world filled with confusion, your clarity and purpose can be a beacon of hope for others. As you adjust your perspective to align with God's vision, you will find that every challenge can lead to greater strength and resilience. Embrace a new view of yourself, your church, and the gifts God has entrusted to you. Understand the times you are in, 
and the urgency of acting with purpose. Your life is not meant to stagnate. It is designed for growth and transformation. As you engage with God, pursue your purpose and refuse to settle for anything less than His best, you will experience the manifestation of His goodness in your life. Today's prayer, Lord, help me move beyond mere religion into a vibrant relationship with you. Open my eyes to see my true identity and the purpose you have for my life. Ignite in me a passion to shine brightly in this world and grant me the wisdom to understand the times we are in. May I rise to fulfill your calling and manifest your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Karis and God bless you in Jesus' name, amen.